Hey everyone, I just got the ADFs for the Dream Runner from Shubla. So excited for these ones, but unfortunately I'm not going to install them in this episode because I still have uh, so much to do before installing the ADFs. So I will be installing them in the next episode and the next episode is going to be the last one of the build series. That means you will get to see the airplane full and ready for the maiden in the next episode. That means the winning flight is coming soon. Anyway, let's get back to work.
Okay, so here are all the electronics. I finished everything and I test everything. Everything is working perfectly. Here I have nine channels uh, receivers from Spectrum. And this is 20 amps PAC to power the receiver and all the servos. I hope it's enough for 20 servos. We will see about that. And this is the landing gear squincer. And there's the light squincer. Another squincer there for the landing gear for the doors because uh, I had some troubles with it. So I have I had to add another one. And those switches are for the, the main lights and those are for the wings. And for the landing gear, it has separate switch because it runs on a separate battery to a battery. And uh, there is a separate 3S battery for the lights. Another 3S for the the receiver and the servos. Uh, the, I, I will be using small batteries, so I'm not worried about the weight. And here I have the connectors for the batteries, the main batteries, the big battery 6S. And I will be using four batteries in here, uh, uh, two for each motor, and they are connected in series. That means 12S, and they go out here to the wing because the ASCs are inside the wings. And here are this is the main connector for the wing. Uh, it's a VGA connector. It has 15 pins, so made everything easier for me. Just one connector for the whole thing. I hope I have enough space for all the batteries. Because I will be using these batteries from those are from Hobby King 6000 milliamps 6s 6s and there will be four of them here I hope yeah four of them maybe the door won't close anymore I don't know I have to figure out something and uh, yeah the batteries are very good I love those batteries and also those are the ASCs that I'm going to use. Uh, also from Hobby King, Hobby King sent me these ESCs and four batteries for the Dreamliner. Uh, those are from YEB, they are so good, 120 amps, uh, they can run up to 14S, which is amazing. And those ESCs are very, very good quality. So I will be installing them in the next part inside the wings. And that's it. So the Dreamliner is almost done and I'm so excited. I just have to finish the wings. They're done. I mean, they're fiberglass and done. So I just have to make the, the mounts for the uh, EDFs and then start making the livery. And for the livery, I will. I decided to go with the black and white Air New Zealand. Uh, I know I made the vote on YouTube. The last vote I made between the black and the black and white livery. Uh, the black won. But when I saw the comments, I saw that everyone is writing me, please do the black and white. And honestly, I thought about it and I decided to go with the black and white for two reasons. First reason is the black fuselage, uh, it's so dark, you don't see the cockpit windows. You don't see them. Even the, all the windows on the fuselage, you don't see them. So uh, it hides so many details, which is in my opinion, the windows on the Dreamer, they are so beautiful, I don't want to hide them. And the second reason is when I go to events here in summer, the airplane stays uh, under the sun the whole day and the heat so with the black fuselage it would be so hot this could melt the whole thing and so I thought okay I'll go with black and white better for everything I know I, lo I love the black it's, it looks so amazing but I mean the black and white is also amazing so yeah I'm going with the black and white Air New Zealand and you will get to see the airplane done in the next episode so there is there will be only now one part on the next uh, episode and then after that is the maiden flight so the maiden flight is coming soon uh, i would like to say big thanks to my versions for their enormous support thank you very much guys i appreciate everything and they are helping me a lot on buying the some uh, some tools and parts and materials which is amazing thank you guys i really appreciate it also you can come uh, one of my patreons uh, i will leave the links in the video description or in the card in the right uh, corner and also subscribe and activate the bell to receive a notification when i upload something i have to mention this every time because sometimes if you don't activate the bell you receive nothing so yeah this is how youtube works these days anyway guys stay tuned for the final part and thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye